Are you ready to jumpstart your fitness journey? If the answer is a resounding yes, then you're in the right place. We're about to embark on an exciting exploration of the do's and don'ts of beginning your fitness adventure. We'll share practical advice and strategies to help you blaze your trail to success. Remember, it's all about progress, not perfection. So, buckle up, get your game face on, and let's dive into the do's and don'ts of starting a fitness journey. Firstly, let's talk about what you should do when starting your fitness journey. Getting into the rhythm of a new fitness routine is like learning how to dance. You begin with the simplest steps, and as you get comfortable, you can add in the twists and turns. So start slow and gradual. Choose activities you enjoy and focus on building consistency. Small, consistent actions can lead to big changes over time. Next, mix it up. Just as you wouldn't eat the same meal every day, variety is key to keeping your workouts fresh and engaging. Experiment with different exercises, from yoga and Pilates to boxing and weightlifting. This way, you'll target different muscle groups, keep boredom at bay, and build a well-rounded fitness routine. Setting realistic goals is another critical step. Think of your fitness journey as a road trip. You need a map to guide you, and that's what your goals are. Make sure they're achievable and motivating. Celebrate every milestone, no matter how small, because every step forward is progress. Now let's talk about form. It's easy to get caught up in the numbers, but quality always trumps quantity and fitness. Prioritize form over intensity. Good form reduces the risk of injury and ensures you're getting the most out of each exercise. Remember, it's not about how many reps you can do, but how well you can do them. Lastly, listen to your body. It's your most valuable fitness tool. If you're feeling tired, take a day off. If an exercise causes discomfort, modify it. It's okay to rest. In fact, rest is just as important as your workouts. It's during these quiet moments that your body rebuilds and strengthens itself. Remember, these are just guidelines. It's important to find what works best for you and your body. Fitness is not a one-size-fits-all journey. It's a personal adventure. And the most important thing is that you enjoy the ride. So lace up those sneakers, get moving, and most importantly, have fun. Now that we've covered the do's, let's take a look at some of the pitfalls to avoid. First up, beware of the temptation to overcommit and burn out. It's like diving headfirst into a pool without checking the water's depth. Sounds risky, right? Embarking on an intense workout routine right out of the gate is no different. It may seem like a fast track to results, but it's often a one-way ticket to burnoutville. Consistency, not intensity, is the secret ingredient to a lasting fitness routine. Next on the list, avoid comparing yourself to others. Your fitness journey is as unique as your fingerprint. Comparing it to someone else's is like comparing apples to oranges or squats to burpees. They're just not the same. Remember, your only competition is the person you were yesterday. Skipping warm-ups and cool-downs is another no-go. They're like the bookends that hold your workout story together. Without them, your story might fall apart, or worse, lead to injuries. Warm-ups prepare your body for the action, and cool-downs help it transition back to its normal state. So no matter how rushed you are, make time for these crucial chapters of your workout. Another common mistake is to rely solely on the scale for validation. Fitness isn't just about shedding pounds, it's about gaining strength, endurance, and well-being. So don't let the scale be the judge and jury of your progress. Pay attention to other indicators like how your clothes fit, your energy levels, or even how well you sleep at night. Finally, beware of the perfection trap. Striving for perfection in fitness is like chasing a mirage. It's unattainable and can steal the joy from your journey. Embrace the ups and downs, the sweat and smiles, the gains and the losses. They're all part of the beautiful, messy process of becoming a fitter, stronger you. Avoiding these common mistakes can help you stay motivated, prevent injuries, and enjoy your fitness journey. Now, we're going to talk about something that's often overlooked in fitness discussions. Self-compassion. Let's start with understanding the journey. Embarking on a fitness journey is like running a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, patience, and persistence. You won't see results overnight, and that's perfectly okay. It's the small victories along the way that make the journey worthwhile. Maybe you lifted a heavier weight, 
ran a little further or simply felt more energized. These are all victories worth celebrating. Next, let's talk about setbacks. They're not roadblocks, but detours on the path to your fitness goals. Instead of viewing them as failures, see them as opportunities to learn and adjust your approach. Maybe you've pushed yourself too hard and need to dial back a bit, or perhaps you need to mix up your routine to keep it interesting. Remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. Now, this might be the most critical point. Be kind to yourself. You're human, and it's okay to have off days. Maybe you missed a workout or you indulged in your favorite treat. That's perfectly fine. What matters is how you respond to these instances. Instead of berating yourself, treat yourself with the same kindness and encouragement you would offer a friend. After all, fitness is about enhancing your life, not punishing yourself. Finally, let's celebrate non-scale victories. Fitness is not just about the number on the scale. It's about feeling stronger, having more energy, sleeping better, and improving your mood. These victories may not be visible to the eye, but they're just as significant. So the next time you feel good after a workout, give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Remember, being kind to yourself is not a sign of weakness, but a strength. It's the foundation of a sustainable and fulfilling fitness journey. We've covered a lot of ground today. From the do's and don'ts of starting a fitness journey to the importance of self-compassion. We've learned that starting slow, mixing up our routines, and setting realistic goals are the keys to success. We've also discovered the pitfalls to avoid, such as overcommitting, comparing ourselves to others, and obsessing over perfection. And we've underscored the power of self-compassion, understanding that fitness is a journey, not a sprint. So are you ready to embrace your fitness journey? Remember, it's not about perfection, but progress. And most importantly, enjoy the journey.